let us take a brief look at the Corel Painter software. I have a version 2020. And if you wish you can also download and install this version, since it is more advanced in both performance and interface compared to previous versions of Corel Painter. However, if you cannot download and install Corel Painter version 2020, you can still go ahead to get earlier versions of the software, since the tools and interface remain almost the same. When you open the newly installed Corel Painter software, you will see a slightly different interface, but I will show you how you can quickly go around and configure it. As you have noticed, the Corel Painter interface resembles Photoshop interface in many ways, but there are a lot more brush settings and other settings that can scare you by their appearance. We will use only few tools when working with an image. We will likely not go to the menu bar or use the tool bar. Since all our work will rely on the use of brushes with which we can both edit and draw, therefore we only need our brush categories, texture library and layers. So, without wasting much time, let us set up the work area. First, we bring the brush bars to the desktop. To do this, we go to the menu bar, click on Window, in the drop-down click brush selector panel. This will put the tick in front of this selected item. Immediately we will have this panel floating on the desktop. We can now move this panel to any place on the desktop. The brush selector panel can be minimized by double-clicking the left mouse button or status. If you have an older version of Corel Painter, you will not have this brush panel. Since it was added recently in the version 2020. In this case you will only have the main bar. Which you can choose the category and brush you want. More also, there is a faster way to access brushes. Press and hold the shift key, left click on the brush and move it to the desktop, it is so easy. Nevertheless, I will tell you more about it in the video solely dedicated to Corel Painter brushes. To bring the rest of the teal bar, click window on the menu bar. Find the tab brush control panels. Click to select it. Also, find the brush shape and select size. Angle spacing, smoothing and dub stencil. In a short while as we progress, you will understand whether you need these settings or not. Next, relocate the brush media and select impasto. Do have in mind that all these windows will appear on your desktop, and you can be able to place them on any part of the desktop where it will be convenient for you to use. You can slightly reduce the layers panel, as we will rarely work with it. Now we will look into the installation of brushes and texture. If you have the earlier versions of Corel Painter, the brush you have now will slightly look different. And the brush bar looks something like this. To install the brushes, click the icon with the three horizontal stripes. Click the Import tab and select Brush Library. In the opened window, locate where you saved my brush library which you downloaded and click Open. In the brush panel you will see the brush categories, added to the brush library. Here you can choose any version of Corel Painter brushes, such as 15, 16, 17 years and so on. Or choose my library. More also, you will see 5 categories of brushes, which we will work with in this course. Thus for now, I will only work with my brush library, 
But if you want to also use the default Corel Painter brushes, then you can use the Painter 2020 library, and separately add my brushes to the library. By this doing, you will have in your access the default brushes of Corel Painter and my brush library altogether. Now, let us talk a little bit about setting textures, or as it is called.